Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over your positioning right after you hit your serve. I know I've, I've, got, I've done some videos on how to get your serve past 110 miles per hour. And I've also gone over some slow motion as well, but I didn't specify where you should be after you serve. So for a lot of my clients, I like to tell them that once you do that serve, you're obviously gonna be inside the court a bit after you jump. Now you do not wanna stay there. Wherever you jump, you do not wanna be there. You always wanna either take a big step back to get close to the baseline, if not on the baseline, or if you have a really good serve and you can see that they're reaching out and they might pop it up, then you take a step in, okay? But you never wanna stay exactly where you serve. Let me give you an example of what not to do. I stayed in that same spot. This opens up the opportunity for them to just hit right at my feet, get me very flat footed. Even if I'm moving, it's gonna be difficult. It's no man's land. That's the area you do not want to be. Now let me give you two different examples. One where I take a step back, one where I take a step forward. You see in both of those scenarios, I anticipated where the next shot's gonna be. You're gonna see that anticipation is a very common theme in a lot of my videos. But in this particular case, I'm anticipating either that I have to go in to get another shot that's gonna be short, or I have to take a step back because they're gonna hit a very good return. But I'd say 90% of the time, unless you hit an amazing serve quite often, you're gonna have to take that step back because you have to expect that they're gonna get it back and they're gonna get it deep. Okay, unless you're a serving volleyer, unless that's your game, then you're always gonna go forward. But I'd say 80 to 90% of the time, you wanna take that step back. The other 10 to 20%, take that step in, be ready to attack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope that it add value to your game. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you, if you like this content. Have a great day, everybody.